welcome to my YouTube channel, Golf All Year. Uh, my name is Dean, and I am here to give you videos on how to get better at golf from the comforts of your own home. I am uh, a teacher, a coach, and just an average golfer looking to get better and to improve my golf swing. You know, golf is a very frustrating, uh, it's a very expensive game at times. And so what I'd like to do is uh, give you budget-friendly ideas on um, how to improve your swing. And so uh, some of the videos will include uh, things about golf simulators. I'll do some reviews on training aids. I'll do some um, reviews on different uh, uh, accessories for your golf simulator. Uh, and I'll also give you some ideas and tips on just how to get better. Uh, I know that, that that my goal is to to be able to break 80 consistently, and I'm determined to do it. And so if you follow me in this journey, subscribe down below, and I, I think we'll uh, get there uh, at some point and become better golfers. So thank you for uh, looking at my uh, YouTube channel. You know, you can also take a look at golfallyear.com for more information and more ideas on how to uh, get better at golf. Thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you uh, in the next video. Hey golfers, Dean with GolfAllYear.com, and today I wanted to do an update on the Orbit launch monitor from OptiShop. I had my suspicions about this launch monitor and I emailed support and I found out that I was correct. The Orbit launch monitor is basically the Swing Caddy SC4 launch monitor and it's combined with their Orion software. Uh, the software that they also use for the OptiShot and the uh, Ball Flight and all their other uh, uh, simulators and, and launch monitors. So OptiShot has basically partnered with Swing Caddy and they're using that uh, launch monitor and then just adding their software to it. This is the same as what uh, E6 has done uh, with many of the launch monitors. Like I have the Garmin R R10 and the E6 and other uh, software companies, golf software companies um, will you allow that simulator to use their software. Now, it costs extra money on some of them. Uh, E6, for example, with my Garmin R10, I get five courses and I get the driving range for free. So um, all those things, you can actually upgrade to get more courses and things like that. It depends on what you're, what you're doing. But I really want you to be aware that uh, this Orbit launch monitor is not really an OptiShot launch monitor. It is a Swing Caddy launch monitor. Swing Caddy, the SC4, you can get for about uh, $500. So they are charging you $250 to upgrade to their Orion software so you can play courses on it. The launch monitor, the, the SC4, you can't play courses on it. So I just wanted you to be aware that the Orbit is actually just the, the uh, Swing Caddy SC4 with the Orion software, and you can check out the Orion software uh, if you're curious about it on the OptiShot site. They have a video talking about it. They have a lot of information about it. If you go to OptiShot, you can see uh, the Orion software. Okay, so here's where we are. I just want you to, to, to be aware that uh, with the Orbit, you are not getting any spin access uh, on your shots. And so um, you are going to see that your shots are not going to curve, either fade or, or hook. You're going to see ba basically straight shots, okay? It could be straight left, it could be straight right, or straight down the middle, but it, they're going to be straight shots. So that is a, a worry that I have about this new Orbit launch monitor. Also, I have not seen good reviews on their app. If you want to use this at the range or use it outside, uh, I have not seen good reviews on the SC4, uh, the, the My Swing Caddy app that you need to use to use it outside. So just be aware of some of those things that I'm concerned with. If I was to purchase again and look to purchase another launch monitor, like I said, I have the Garmin R10. I love the Garmin R10. 
Um, I highly recommend it. Garmin's a great company. Um, it also can come with E6. It comes with um, the Home T Hero, which is another way to play courses if you want to do a lot of simulating and things like that. The graphics in, in E6 are much better than the OptiShot. Um, and they also have other uh, software that you can use to, to tie it to um, uh, your launch monitor, your Garmin R10. I think they have a, a True Golf and some others. So I suggest the, the, the Garmin for the price. You can get a Garmin R10 for you know around $500. Uh, and then the courses, you get five courses for free. Um, I think the Home T Hero is like $99. Um, and then you could also get the E6 and upgrade to more courses for E6. That's one suggestion that I would do. I would probably stay away. Or I might, if you want a launch monitor, um, just go with the, you could go with the SC4. Again, understand that there's no spin axis on it. Um, but if you want a simulator, you know, uh, and you want to play courses, I don't know how much better that, that launch monitor is going to be for the price, uh, the, the Orbit. So beware, check into it, look into it, find out, you know, before you buy uh, the Orbit, um, look into it and see what you can get. Uh, hopefully this helps. I'll be doing some more uh, videos on, uh, you know, my suggestions on simulators and things like that, maybe doing some comparisons. Uh, I've hit on a few of them. So, uh, and I have a few of them. So that's kind of what, what I'll do. I'll do some more um, simulators. I also am looking to put out um, a uh, practice plan for the Garmin R10, for the OptiShot, for even the Swing Caddy that you can use to try to get better. I call it the challenge to improve. So be looking on the lookout for that. I'm doing it myself. I'm trying to really get better at golf. And so I'm trying to help you also. So uh, hope this helps. Take care and let me know if you have any questions or comments down below.